still out of date, because that's how I roll. Wow, that was quick. Yes, yes, Divas. Welcome, welcome. Uh, I got an invitation to join somebody else's server to do a okay base tour. Uh, we might be doing it tomorrow. Hey, uh, Steam actually has spell check, but they don't. Give you any suggestions as to how to replace it. And Isom has joined. Just like, uh, just like old times, huh? Need more light bulbs. How was I working on most recently? Oh, we're gonna do more catapults this time for sure. I'm not sure what I'm going to use. Fossils, or should I use something? A bit more renewable. Long time no see. Hey, ba dear bamboo. Uh, yeah, this is the base that we've been working on for quite a while now. So, it's like me and a couple other players regularly. Uh, I especially like the caves because there was a lot of natural sunlight that comes down here during the daytime. Not all caves are going to have that in consistent areas. What happened? Oh, the, the moose lines. Because that's where the world spawned them. Everybody's got to be somewhere. I know, I need a mod that disables that notification at the top of my screen that my mod is out of date. I just realized that it would be, that would be something I would actually use. Because like I, when I start the game I click, click update all mods and yet the API gem core never seems to update. So I, I need a mod to hide the notification that I need to update a mod. And that's how Don't Starve works. Use obvious use use Okay, the T is silent. You saw obvious? Did I get it right that time? I'll try to remember, but I'm like a phonetic English speaker at times, so. Oh, it is just obvious. Just 
Yastavius. Is it in reference to something? Because that would probably help me remember it. It doesn't ring any bells for me personally. Is there anything else I need down here? I'm not even sure what I came down to get. Because I finished building the signs, I think we just need the stuff for the catapults. The rocks and trusty tape. Okay, I should also bring the fossils back up, I suppose. Catapults? Yeah, I'm going to be making some catapults here. Last time, or last stream, I made these spotlights. Ah, they might be useful. <laughs> might be in an emergency. I'll be coming up in a bit if you're, if you're only coming down to be down where I am. Uh, should also get myself a new uh, Lazy Explorer. I got one use left on the one that I have. What am I going to make the catapult for? Uh, I thought I would do something with the hounds with it. I know there are like a ton of strats for killing bosses now with catapults that I just haven't kept up on. I've been gone for the last couple of weeks. But I think a safe place to start would be with the, uh, the hounds because we need to do something about them anyway. Right now, it's just this small area right here. We've got like a handful of tooth traps, which is not enough. Oh my god, I forgot to leave the shadow atrium down there again. There's no point in bringing it up here. Where am I underground? I came back up. I was uh, at the base down there. It's uh, a moosling time of year. We actually might not have enough rocks. These catapults do cost a few rocks, 15 each. Hmm. Uh, do you mind if I go in VC? Oh, I actually meant to go in VC here. Just a second. All right. Yeah, completely forgot about it by accident. Silk. The base at the spawn of the cave or in some location? Did you follow the road to get there? You've got a road that leads from... Uh, yeah. It should be just directly at the base of the stairs. For the entrance leading up. I need two electrical doodads yet. Where are you? I'll go over to the area that I'm talking about. Or did you leave the game before... Like, did you get stuck in something when you left? I'm, in, I'm gonna go down to the main base, or the cave, main cave base. If you're not in the main cave base, then that would explain why you don't see me. Yeah, I don't see you down here. Where where in the caves are you? Yeah, just find the main cave base and you'll be good. So 
since I'm down here again, is there something else I want to grab? Probably should have brought the Atrium Heart back down. That would have made better use of my time. And it will get built. I need some resources here. Logs, living logs, here we go. Wrong chest. You are a hungry little vermin. Only two gold. Need to get some more. Uh, maybe there's some trinkets out in the desert. Oh, uh, what do you want to catapult for? Last time I tried it, it's like a day and a half to kill bee queen. It's like only half a day to kill bee queen. How to use the golden belt? I felt like I haven't seen you for ages. Yeah, I haven't been around here for a while, if that's what you're referencing. A uh, couple weeks, so I took off. Other stuff. Uh, yeah, so the golden belt, if you're talking about for the pigs, you give it to the pig king during the daytime. And it starts a little event. If only DST had voice chat. I mean, I, most people I play with end up using Discord and it seems to work well enough. I also like Discord because it, it allows you to move between games. Oh, there goes that tooth trap. <laughs> right, so like, I can add people on Discord and we can play different games besides just DST. This is going to be a problem with the ice. Like even having hounds in this area is kind of a bad thing because the rabbits will aggro onto them, and uh, that could ultimately start them on fire. Hmm. Maybe that's not the best place for it. Hmm. Maybe more like right here. It's still close enough to the main base where like other people who join should be able to make their way here. Yeah, I just need the electrical doodads, which is probably gonna be a problem with the cut stone because I don't have much cut stone. But there's the generator. How come I can't set the trap by right-clicking on it? Sometimes that mod doesn't seem to work for me. Did you find the main base, Ice? Down below? Got uh, lightning rods here. Is this going to be something that requires a flingomatic? I hadn't thought about that, but I bet it does, doesn't it? Because otherwise the hounds will start the whole thing on fire. Which means I would actually save resources by building it over here. Hmm. Okay, I don't want the Flingo to be inside of its uh, power range. Because then I can't build stuff in there, can I? You thought he was the base? You followed the road? I'm just building it here. I'll dig up this terrain and make it look less asymmetric. For what it's worth. You can just put cobblestone on it. Uh, when you say you followed the signs, are you talking about the ones that lead from the celestial portal? Yeah, 
Because I don't remember putting any signs down below. Sign, sign, everywhere sign. Don't do this, don't do that. Can't you read the sign? Hey! You have an opportunity to try this out. See how it goes. It will go terribly. No! Be gone, foul beasts! I have no armor. How long will it take them to kill the catapults, do you think? I didn't finish defending. Yeah. They're slap a doozing yet. Yeah, there goes my armor. Come on! Survive! No! You bastards. I have my vengeance. Eh, not enough time. Try the gen Niter Generator for the Hound setup with nine catapults and Niter Generator lasts 50 seconds. Yeah, I suppose it would be a better use of the power, wouldn't it? I hadn't considered that. Oh, I can afford another one. Only one more, though. I need more rocks. And I don't think I have any more up here. So, where... Where did I leave Berger before I quit? Oh, it's too late. It's spring. Wait. Berger will yawn in every season but autumn, right? Yes, yeah, so we can't use Berger. There might still be stuff up there I can gather. I should take a look. Because I, like, cleared a bunch of stuff out. But I don't think I gathered it all because I thought it would be a bit monotonous. But I need this, the rocks now. Hey, there you are, Ice. Where did you take a wrong turn? You went down like Bruce Springsteen? Oh, default camera? Yeah, I, I rotate my camera a lot, so... <sighs> You followed the signs uh, over there by the celestial portal, or what? Where'd you spawn in? And when you joined the game, though, where on the where in the world were you? Oh, you were up here. Okay. Uh, I don't know what cave entrance you took down, then. The one in the... Savannah? Maybe? Yeah, okay, so we're tearing that generator down as per Dear Bamboo's suggestion. I'll just use the niter one, because we've got a lot of niter to waste on this anyway. Uh, I could get rocks from here. Oh wait, shit, oh, uh, maybe this would have been the ideal place for the hound trap. Got another flingo there. Well, I already committed to the location. Did I though, really? I have one catapult built there, I'm destroying the gener generator. Maybe I haven't committed as much as I thought.
Is honey gonna be a problem? Yes, it is. Okay. I need to go back down and get more food first. Oh, that's right, it's uh, spring. So this should be interesting. And I also need another football helmet. <sighs> yeah, so I'm thinking of putting the hound trap over where the bunny farm used to be now. Because it's kind of contained on its own and it's far enough away from the base where if I tell people to go there, They'll be far enough away from the base that it shouldn't cause any sort of accidents to happen. You unlocked Wilba today. Is this your first time playing Hamlet? How'd you unlock Wartox? I thought, wait, has Wartox been released yet? Okay. I thought it was like in a few days, but not the best at managing time. Let's see if there are any stones left up here. Oh yeah, okay, we got a lot of rocks up here. That'll be fine. From last Barrager. Yeah, as a matter of fact, Berger is no longer in this world because of that. It's a nice thing, you know, you can sort of save your Berger, and I would recommend doing that if you don't absolutely need to mine stuff, because otherwise you end up with the random Berger in your base problem. And I mean, if you're playing with you're playing by yourself, or I guess with people who really know what to do in Berger or know when to expect Berger, then things can be fine. But I've had my base stomped a couple of times when I've been down in the caves, and Berger spawned up top with uh, like other people up there. As a matter of fact, what did I lose? I lost something important. Oh yeah, I lost the default because of Berger being mismanaged. Uh, it seems there's something else I lost that I valued quite a bit. It was um. I think it was Halloween candy or something. I'd saved up chests of Halloween candy from the event, and I think Berger ate the edible stuff of that. I mean, it's one of the downsides to like opening the server up, but on the upside, it gets more people involved in it. I think, um, I remember when I was streaming Seven Days to Die, like, most of the people who stopped by actually were looking to join a game. Like, they, they wanted to find a game to join, or a world to join. It doesn't seem to be quite as significant here in DST, but maybe I should, like, mention, like, put a command. Is there a command for join? Let me see here. 
Uh, is it exclamation mark join? Uh, yeah, there is. That's not how you're supposed to join anymore. Okay, I need to update that at some point. I need to think of a new way to like get people to join because it's really as simple as looking for the game and then entering a password. Let's see here. I've got 80 rocks. That should be enough for a few catapults. So let's head back. Did you get disconnected? I oh, Ice actually left. Okay. Didn't even say goodbye. I hope he didn't do anything trollish in the base. I know Ice played before, but you never know when somebody's going to go out in a blaze of glory. And the Ann heroes of Don't Starve. Please don't burn my base down. <laughs> All right, this time let's build around this flingo here. Niter. Now we just need a generator that accepts teeth. Hound's teeth. Because that's the other resource that tends to build up in abundance that nobody really uses. Alright, so what's going to be the best strategy for placing these? I want to do it somewhat symmetrically. And this generator is placed right at a corner here. I just follow the dotted line. How about that? Hey, dear bamboo. All right, do you need any resources to get started? This uh, goes like that. Did you join before? Oh yeah, you've been here for 43 days. Yep, didn't change any of the server settings, so. I suppose the biggest danger to the world was when I migrated to my new computer. And I could put traps around it. Well, four will be enough for now. I'll wait and see what happens when a hound wave crashes into that. But I would like to build some sort of protection for it. Either it's going to be bubble pipes or fossils.
You have six living logs? Make yourself some dark swords. The nice thing about fossils is you can just easily pick them up and move them somewhere else. First thing you do is kill a tree garden. Well, we've got too many of them anyway. So here's the thing, I don't know how close I can plant them before the hounds will still be able to attack. The catapult, that is, not me. Like, is that considered, is the catapult considered accessible from here? Yeah, I think it is, right? Because otherwise what will happen is something like this, right? Your character will walk in place if the building isn't accessible. However, if I do that, if I click on walk to this and the character stands next to it, that means it definitely is accessible. So that needs to change. No frog rain so far this spring. Okay, that is not close enough. Like, they were never intended to be used this way, I don't think. So... It seems a bit derpy, that's why. Like, right now, you'd think you could walk right through there, but you can't. Yeah, see, now my character is walking in place. So I'm taking this as a sign that the building is inaccessible. I think you could also fence tree guards in using fossils. Do I go in, or do I go to the outside? I went to the outside, so this time I can go to the inside. Yeah, I'm not gonna have enough fossils, though, to complete this. And also, if I use the fossils for this, it means no more reanimated skeletons. I suppose I should keep a supply of niter nearby now. You have the white rook? The sketch, or what? Or the chess piece? <sighs> Not quite sure. So this is kind of interesting. Before you plant a tree in here, you can hammer the tree planters. After you plant a tree, you have to chop them down. You have the trinket. Wait, did I lose that as a... Sketch? Oh no, I haven't prototyped yet. Alright. I'm just gonna go get the fork so I can move some of this terrain around, prevent these trees from growing here. It was originally set up back when I was using this as the bunny man area. What's in here? Hmm, you've got rocky turf and cave rock turf. I could actually use this cave rock turf. Maybe even the rocky turf. I was uh, 
placing it around the base. Just outside the road here, like this. Something just turned into rot. Oh, my light bulbs did. Here. Let's dispose of it properly and responsibly. In my bio incinerator. Hey, first day of summer. That's bad. <laughs> Pick up. Dude. Fork. Not shovel. All right, uh, I probably should start knocking some of this stuff down then. I still have a couple of days to work on this before I have to worry about flingos. Yeah, I really hadn't thought of that. Uh, having the flingo, or having this over here means that I'll need to keep this flingo stock, won't it? What are the odds that my catapults will burn down if I don't? I guess I'll risk it. How's the catapult building going? I've got four of them. As per the advice of, I think it was Deer bamboo. I'm going to be using the flint, uh, not the flint, the niter generator instead of the gemerator. So when you hear a hound wave coming, I'm just gonna run over here, fire up the catapults, and uh, hope for the best. Last wave, I tried it with just two catapults. They were undefended, and the hounds managed to kill one. But I'm hoping that with four of them here, even though they're only like half defended. None of them are going to bite the bucket. Wait, can you bite the bucket? You can kick the bucket and bite the dust. I don't think you can do... That's a bit of a mixed metaphor, then, is what I was up to there. Bite the bucket and kick the dust. <laughs> uh, that would be odd. Um, yeah, how do I want this to look? We've got a lot of this red mushroom turf here. So I could do like a 9x9 nine nine of that. Or, I mean, a 3x3. Uh, three three. Is this 3x3? Three three? 1, 2, 3. Yes, and then 1, 2. Just need to extend. Oh, it's not going to be 3x3, three three, though. It's closer. Okay. We can still do a 3x3. Three three. I think it'll look fine. So, 1, 2, 3. I guess it's 4x4, four four, isn't it? Yeah, to balance this out. Uh... Or I could just expand like this. It's more of a, cro a fat cross, they call them. At least that's what they called them in Civilization 4 back when I played it. See, cities in Civilization 4 had a fat cross. That was the area that could be worked by the population of the cities. So there was some serious incentive going on to like, plan your cities properly so the fat crosses didn't overlap one another. And then I also have some more cave rock turf. The question is, should I actually use cave rock turf, or should I use the fungal turf around my normal base? Because I could dig up more of that. So I've got cave rock turf here right now. 
Like I had a lot of different ideas. I thought maybe just boards would look nice, and I thought well, cave rock turf, and I thought rocky turf. It's a bit all over the place at the moment. Here, let's see what this will look like. Uh, it looks okay. I actually like it better than the wood. I think. It's just a little bit brighter, so it, it doesn't clash quite as much with the road. You need new skins for the terrain. It's one of the things I'm looking forward to the most. Any more pitchforks? No. Alright, I need to get rid of some of this stuff here in my inventory. I simply have too much. Oh, wow, that's a lot of flint. That chest is full. Close enough. I also need some more pig houses over here. Yep. Still a lot of organization to do yet in this space. So what is the decision? I could use cave rock turf. I've got it. I'll use both. I have fungal turf for the very center of the setup here, and then the rest of it will be cave rock. And most importantly, we need to get rid of all these random trees. Going down the rails on a crazy train. Where's it out the rails? It's out. One would think you would go down a rail, but I think Ozzy goes out. Actually overlaps better than I thought it would. <sighs> Looking forward to the next town wave. Get to see it in action. a bit too bright. Here, I should knock this down before it uses any more of my gems. I don't think it even mattered. It doesn't give you back the gems, does it? Once you put a gem in it, it's not coming back out. Alright, so I'm gonna start replacing this stuff with fungal turf. Should I build a wall around the base? I know the Moose Goose would destroy it if I built around here. 
Oh, and I should turn these flingles on, though. Oh, okay, I do have a luxury fan. Probably shouldn't have had one on me, because that was space I could have used for something else. Up until this point. Right, and I also need some more carrots to rebuild those bunnies. Uh, I mean, okay, there's marble here. Maybe marble is the right answer. At the end of the day, marble might look the best, and it's also really easy to grow. I can't use carpet because... No beefalo. I'm gonna try carpet briefly here. Maybe this is what I'm looking for. Because there will be a bit of a break between the road and this terrain. So there's never gonna be a run on area. So how does marble look? Yeah, I think I like marble. I think we're gonna go with marble. Dig it all back up. It just looks so much more civilized, doesn't it? Like, it looks like a base with the marble. Now here we could actually have roads leading out because I need it to meet with the path right over here. So... I should find some way to route a road through here. We can meet up with this one. Oh! All my marbles resetting, I should harvest it while I have a chance here. Uh, 84%. Hmm. I don't think I'll put a, like a, a cobblestone road there. Same thing going over here to these areas. I think I'm going to get rid of the idea of the cobblestone because that kind of road does not look very good when you build it diagonally. Oh. Oh, no. Come on. Don't do that to me. Just wait a darn tootin' second. Maybe I'll use wooden turf over here. Uh, 
Leo, thank you for the follow. How's it going? I need to figure out how to make catapults for hound waves work. And another th that Leo. Coincidence? I think not. <laughs> I'm gonna regret putting this wood here, aren't I? I'm gonna dig it up like 10 days from now and put something else. As that is how we do around here. It includes little touches like the always out of date API gem core mod. I just never quite figure out how to update that one mod. Oh no, we need food. So that way I can craft quickly. I refuse to craft slow. All right, I'm gonna start along here actually. Cause I don't like walking up to my base and it looking ugly. I really dislike this area looking ugly. And it's looked that way for far too long. And I think I also want more nice like uh, grassland turf over here instead of this deciduous stuff. I, I don't usually like the deciduous terrain. So I wanna replace it. Where's the best place to, uh, way over there? I guess there's some up here. I need to just like grab some grass turf. There's some, is it forest? Is it forest? I don't remember. I always thought of it like a grassland. Yeah, I think it is grassland. Oh, actually, there are a couple of chests over here. There might be some in these. Yeah, here we go, grass turf. That's exactly what I was looking for. Somewhat rare. You don't usually get what you're looking for. So I'm thinking too thick for this. Wait, did I run out of music already? Damn. That was a short playlist. Here we go. NCS. I've been meaning to download some more NCS music. For those who aren't aware, the reason people use NCS on streams is because it doesn't get you into any copyright trouble. And you can just go ahead and download all the songs. There's not an easy way to do it. You have to do it individually, but then, you know, since I run through these playlists over and over again, it kind of makes sense because I don't have to keep restreaming the song or I don't have to keep downloading the song to restream it. I can just sort of cache it using my audio program. Another good choice for those wondering like what kind of music you can use during your stream, take a look at some game soundtracks. While some of them are or do get flagged, a lot of them don't because the game developer, and I guess the publisher by extent of that, realizes that uh, you know people are going to play or upload Let's Plays of the game to sites like YouTube, and so it's usually not the most like YouTube friendly thing to copyright claim all those. And copyright claims are just dangerous territory to tread on because if you've got a claim it can change from a simple claim into a strike if the claimant reverses their decision on it. You need to also go down and get more food. Oh wow, I've, been, I've probably been insane for over a day and this is the first uh, shadow that's been after me. And that's why you don't let up. I guess the downside to the grassland turf though is that things will still grow here. Which is, eh. 
World regen. If only it regenerated beefalo. Then I would actually have a use for it. Otherwise it tends to get in your way more than anything else. You clear an area, well, Jen regrows it all. These flowers need to go. Sorry to say, come back here, butterfly. Make a mockery of me, will you? I'll show them all. Okay, I thought, yeah, this area over here all borders with grassland up to this point. Oh wait, that was not supposed to be grass. This is supposed to be marble. Now, I do have more marble down below, so I should probably go down, get some food, get some sanity, get some marble, and then continue the design here. Or maybe I should plant all the marble. Because I'm going to need a lot of it. Might be a better idea. How many days does it take for marble to grow? It's like a season, isn't it? I still want to do something nice with Glomer's statue. Maybe move one of those Aku Vigils inside the base. Should be some interesting stuff I can do with them. Although they do, oh, I think they start on fire or they can smolder. And of course these chests here could smolder. It's a bit of a liability. All right, I need to do something about hunger. So that's next, uh, where's the atrium heart? We'll take this down with us. Wait, somebody raided? I didn't notice uh, the announcement. That's weird, like, bef oh, okay. There must be a setting that I turned off for the raid. Because I've been hosted before, and I get the notification for the host, but I don't get raid notifications. So there must be a setting uh, in Twitch, I imagine. Okay, is any of this stuff diseased here? Yeah, I'll have to look at that, because like, I don't get a, an alert or a notice for that at all. I'm not sure why. I thought it, the problem had resolved itself. But I, I'm, uh, I'm sad to hear that it didn't. So, we'll need to look into that. Okay, like I said, food, food first. Could get berries, but it's summer. So I think it makes more sense to get honey. Hey, it looks like for once the bunnies are winning. Keeping my bee populations under control. Yes, when are we going to get some sort of biofuel, um, I don't know, like generator that uses bee stingers? I, it is one of, in addition to Hound's Teeth, these stingers are one of those things that are just way overproduced in this game. And there's like no easy way to get rid of them. Like, <laughs> if I could just throw them in the fire, I would be a hell of a lot happier. <laughs> but you can't even do that. Here we go. I can heal this up.
My 3% Bee Queen Crown. Yeah, when were you here last, dear Bamboo? Because it says you're here 47 days, but I'm not sure if you saw like the majority of the base or not. No, huh. not today. You can join uh, the Discord, by the way. I am in the VC. I just need to get the marble now. And then we'll go back up. Okay, I'm gonna feed you since I'm here. There. Be happy thou art loved. Or at least fed. But pets, in their opinion, feeding is the same as love, so... The obligations have been fulfilled. The societal contract has been up kept. It's been kept up. Where did I put the marble? Oh, 38. I think that's it. I think you redesigned the base it's very much different than you remembered above ground most certainly i moved a lot of stuff around up there down below i uh i don't think a lot has changed it's generally the same design that i started with i just expanded it a bit more and i might have moved like a couple of pens for example the grass geckos used to be next or adjacent to the uh bee boxes which was a problem because during the spring the grass geckos get beaten up <laughs> <laughs> the house geckos take a hell of a beating from those bees, and that is uh, not optimal. Right, okay. At least 20 of these are going to be turned into beans. What am I going to do with these beans? These magic beans. This is a Maxwell nightmare here. There's a glowberry in an ice box. Can't be mine. Because if it was mine, it would have spoiled a long time ago. I haven't gotten a glowberry in a long time. Oh, it's probably uh, ices. Ice probably put that in there. Oh, you killed it? Okay. You you were just telling me that uh, there is now one in there. I misunderstood the statement. See, I also don't want these trees to be so close to the base. They're making me claustrophobic. And also, it's just messy. Oh, but we're gonna need so much more wood. 
it's not even funny how much wood I need to finish this. <sighs> They're my grass geckos. What should I do with them? Just cleaning up the world? Yeah. Thanks. It needs cleaning. It's the uh, existential battle against entropy. In the past, I've saddled Rot with the blame for slowing my servers down. The song is called Wubba Duck. Not to be mistaken with Wubba Lubba Dub Dub. I still need to fix that as well. There's so much to do. Oh, I have more checkered flooring. Okay. Let's uh, continue this. I thought I used it all. Maybe I'll switch over to Maxwell. You know, I should totally do that. I need to plant up a storm, just plant up a ton of trees, switch over to Maxwell, and then we'll mine all this stuff down, then I'll jump back as Winona. So that is the next plan here. Because I need a lot of logs, and it's just, there's no other way to get it in a reasonable amount of time. Like, I need logs to refuel the flingos, I need logs to build more cobblestone. So. Maxwell it is. I need to get more used to this idea that I can switch characters with relatively little expense. Don't refresh this stream. Apparently people are having issues. Oh, okay. Uh, popping by to spread online hug. Well, thank you. Let me see. Can I do a hug emote? No. Damn, we need one of those. Do I have the... I don't have the emote wheel either. I need a hug emote. What's the best equivalent to that? Um, cheer? Cheer. <laughs> I wonder if all the new characters are going to get all the emotes. They almost have to, but when you think about the commitment that Clay has to make with every new character, then yeah, maybe it's not that big of a deal. I haven't paid much attention to modded characters. Do they all have the cheers or uh, like the emotes or not? I should do this underground because otherwise it's going to uh, let's start smoldering. I'm gonna plant. What is it? Uh, 80. Like 160 trees down there. For me, Steam, uh, Twitch has usually been pretty reliable. Oh, this is this is excellent. Okay, let's get started. Just plant the whole thing. Like, there's a lot of natural light here from the sun, which is great. Cause that way, I don't have to worry as much about the uh, light plants. We're dropping lanterns down to do this. Oh, I forgot. How do I detach the camera? I should do like a time lapse. I've always wanted to do this where you have one character sort of just stands in the middle of the base and you put them in god mode or something and you record their perspective and watch as sort of the base comes to life around them. Uh, in sort of a time-lapse, sort of sped-up format. 
That was, that's, uh, like, it's one, something I want to capture at some point. Maybe, maybe if I join, like, some public server or something, like, strictly unprofessional, they would just let me hang out there to record that. Probably not, but it's worth a try. <laughs> because, like, if I'm recording it, I can't be building. Uh, so somebody else would have to do the building. Or I'd have to, like, get another computer and run my dummy account on that and record... Or like, record from here and then play it on the dummy account. Ooh, I wonder if I could use a virtual machine to do that. I've never tried playing Don't Starve in a virtual machine. I'm not sure if it's possible. If you can't see, how can you plant? Never mind. This is just about it. What mod are you placing the pine cones? Yeah, it's called Action Q. It's a client mod. You can see the mods that I currently have by typing in, I think, exclamation mods into the chat. Let's see here. The yeah, ALT tab out. Yeah, there we go. So it's called Action Q Reborn is the name of it. Those are the client mods that I use. I also use a couple server mods, but they're not that significant. Global Pause and Epic Health Bar. And of those, uh, I mean, okay, there's also the API Gem Core, but the only reason I have J API Gem Core enabled is because you need it for Global Pause. And I mean, Global Pause can be nice, but if you have people in your world, I, you really don't like doing it because then, you know, everybody's sort of prevented from doing anything. So it's more of a solo type mod. If you're, if you're used to playing single player, uh, go ahead and take a look at that mod because it gives you the same sort of flexibility to sort of just pause the game when you're not sure what to do next. And I think that can be valuable for people making the transition from single player to multiplayer because it's one of the things that I I still mess up when I'm switching between those two games because in single player, I'm whenever I'm, I have a problem, I immediately tab to open up the map. And it gives you an opportunity to think about what you want to do next. But you can't do that in DST without this mod. All right, where did I put the bunny puffs? Uh, should be somewhere. Okay, forget it, I'll put them there. Maxwell's book, I don't need to carry this. We've got cave rock turf. Uh, I mean, on the upside, if I, if I did build this out with more cave rock turf, what would that look like? Instead of like the transition directly to grass, we'd have transition to, no, I don't like that. But I could use it I need to get like a better idea of how much I have here. Oh. <laughs> okay, I don't know if that's possible. You have action queue or like what, what are you asking if it's possible? Hey, Beyond Time, how's it going? Uh, it's going quite well. Do I like the Winona stuff? It seems to straddle, uh, it actually doesn't straddle the line, it blazes a big fat glowing, glow in the dark line between underpowered and overpowered. <laughs> Interesting stuff, I'm going to be switching to Maxwell for uh, chopping trees in a bit, but so far I really do like what they did with the crafting. I When the update first came out, the crafting wasn't the best like it was not <laughs> it was a, it was a detriment to our character but now the way they set it up is where you know you pay the penalty initially and then after that you're golden you can just continue crafting as much as you want without paying additional hunger penalties i like that i think that's a great change and it makes her 
much more viable as like a, a just a regular character because that's the other problem right you say okay well she's got these cool new buildings now and stuff but what ends up happening is you know you play her just to build those buildings and then you log off and never use her again what i what i like here is that it actually makes sense to play as winona because the crafting uh speed up is actually useful on like a an ongoing basis whereas before it was just a nuisance after the uh, initial update So that's kind of where I am at with that at the moment. Uh, I could rebuild the Ocu Vigil. Not quite sure where I want to put it. That somewhere it doesn't look too out of place. I could maybe if I planted one like in the center here, but then people walking through the gate would be inconvenient spot. Um. How about in the corners here? So instead, because you know, normally I would have like house, because that's how I do this, right? Each square contains a house. So I'd have house, house, house. I can't build another house here. So let's build an Occu Vigil there instead. I've got a compass that I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. What was it from? I built something else with it. It wasn't an Aki Vigil, was it? What else uses a compass? It wasn't the Lazy Deserter? I just tore it down. I can't believe I forgot what it is. Got a second compass from something. Here's another compass. Okay. That'll be enough for a couple more Aki Vigils. Now, if I'm not mistaken, what I really like about this turf is nothing's going to grow on top of it. So once I get rid of those trees, they will be gone. We've got hounds. Excellent. We shall put the trap to the test. Sadly, I need more armor. Oh, I hear something. Here, turn this on. I need armor. One, two. All right, come get me. Oh boy, <laughs> how much of that stuff is going to burn? All right. That worked. The other thing is the uh, catapults, they do regenerate their health. So they're a bit like the Houndius Studius. You don't have to worry about them dying, providing they don't take too much damage at one point. As a matter of fact, they have similar-ish health to the Houndius. They have less, but it's like within like a couple of H uh, couple hundred HP, I think. Maybe it's like a 33% difference. Last time I looked at this was when it initially came out. I kind of looked at the, the numbers that people had posted for the health points on them. And that was what I saw. Could have changed since then. They seemed to be pretty durable though, because they didn't get destroyed here. Which is a freaking meat I want to pick up. Oh, there goes the tent. Oh, you know, funny thing, I was going to knock that tent down, because it's like nobody needs this tent over here. And now it burned to the ground. You know, if if this was different and there wasn't this stupid cross here, 
uh, in one quadrant of the Pig King. Uh, this is where I would have put the chests and stuff because it's the closest to the other base. As it stands right now, it's like the quadrant that I use is literally the farthest away from my underground base. Cavens? Hey, Bunny Brook. Thank you for the follow. Yeah, I'll be careful up here. I don't. Yeah, it's not targeting me, apparently. Alright, I uh, need to get rid of some of this stuff. But yeah, if you're up top and you see the ground crumbling under you, please, you know, leave the base. That way I don't have to rebuild, like, my entire chest area here. Uh, I'd like to avoid that if at all possible. Which means I should probably go and kill Antline. I should do that. Especially before I switch over to Maxwell, because he's got a laughably small amount of health. So yeah, actually we're gonna do that next, I think. This song will always remind me of Starve.io because I listen to it constantly while playing that game. I like Starve.io, but I tried to invite some people to play it with me and they didn't like it. It's a browser-based game that's kind of like Don't Starve except a lot more PvP-ish. Uh, and it doesn't have the same depth, but if you're looking for like a fun little off-topic game to play that has like some similarity to Don't Starve, take a look at Starve.io. It's, it's fun in its own way. Uh, okay, I need thermal stones. What else? You can come with me. Uh, usually I solo, but like you could, I guess, try to help. Just don't die. Uh, yeah, so I need the desert goggles. Where would they be? They'd be over here, I think. Yep. And I'm probably going to need to make some more thermal stones. How many do I have at the moment? I'm pretty sure it's just sitting here. Or did somebody pick it up? Somebody might have picked it up. Yeah, okay, I need to make more desert stones. And I could convert a pig with that monster meat, because I don't plan on using it to feed myself. <clears throat> uh, you found a duplication glitch, so now you have a farm with over a thousand berry bushes. I would hate to try to keep that from getting disease. <laughs> Bushes regen anyway. Did you post in the clay form? What mod are you using? You can select a square to auto mine or chop. Uh, it's called what like auto queue actions It's called action queue reborn uh, You can type in exclamation mods and you can see which mods I'm currently using on the client side uh, What was I gonna do? Okay, I need grass. I need stones I should say I need rocks, and I need flint. Do I have flint? I've got flint. So where's my grass? Ooh, I don't think charcoal's supposed to be in here. Do I not have- uh, I've got a charcoal chest. And it has room. And now I probably just need armor. And this is also the ideal time because we just had a hound wave, so I don't have to worry about that. Because that's always annoying. You're trying to fight a boss and all of a sudden hound wave and then you have to drop what you're doing and fight them instead. Uh, it's a real inconvenience. I can just use my dark sword, so I don't have to worry about that. Uh, I probably want to fix my sanity before I do that. Oh, and let's uh, fight the pigs here. Or just convert a couple of them. Maybe I'll use... No, I can't use football helmets. I need the desert goggles. Because as is, it's looking like I'm going to have to dig up some stumps. Starve.io was also a game that was kind of MMO-ish, like it was, it ran persistently. 
which had like its own challenge because you could get killed by other players. And there wasn't like any real way to hold down the fort. Uh, this is wrong, 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 wrong. Where, where's my fan? Oh, there it is. Yeah, you can use them. I am going to go and get honey, so. I like using honey because it, it I have enough of it and it also heals me, so. Let's see. If you'd like to see it, I'll post it in chat or something. Yeah, or just post a link to it if you're talking about the duplication. I got you into the game. Yeah. It's got a lot of depth. Uh, you'll see people who've been playing it for years still learn new things every day, myself included. So it's definitely the type of game that it's really open-ended in terms of what you want to do with it. And, th and there's a lot of just like cool random stuff that you can do that you might have known about. Um, I am a little bit worried though with the introduction of like the catapults and stuff. I'm worried that it'll take away some of the... Because I really haven't paid any attention to the strategies, but I, I know some people have just come up with insanely good or let's say efficient ways to farm certain raid bosses and whatnot. And, you know, the thing was, they, they kind of were special before, it seems like. And if you can just mass, like, mob everything with catapults, I think it kind of takes away... Or it, it detracts from, like, the, the effort and some of the strategies that others figured out uh, to, like, beat these bosses efficiently before. Because, you know, you think about it, the strategies you use to beat Dragonfly are going to be different than the strategies you use to build Bee Queen, uh, defeat Bee Queen, and now it's just going to be, well, you spam catapults at everything, and it just massacres the, the raid boss. It's like, eh, it's one of those things. I, I'm worried about it. I, I think it kind of takes away from the spirit of the game if it's that easy. I, I'm going to have to check them out a little bit more, but I am a little bit concerned about that happening. And then it, just the meta shifting from something that had a lot of depth to it to something that's just really, you know, samey. <laughs> uh, and, and I hope that's not the case, but that's my biggest worry at the moment. Since Nightbot arrested me, go to Reddit. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I think there was a thing set up in Nightbot where it's like against you. Oh, here. I've got the link. Maybe it just flagged it for everyone else? Okay, it was just a warning, yeah. Okay, the link is there, so. I'll take a look at it when the stream's done. Thanks for posting it, uh, Cody. You only used catapults for dogs much, much better old starts for all other bosses. Oh, okay. The spirit of the game is intact. I'm glad to hear it. Like I was away for a couple weeks, so I, I didn't really keep up on the way the meta shifted, and I was a little bit overwhelmed. I was worried that it shifted significantly, but yeah. I mean, the thing is, we know that Clay is not necessarily worried all that much about balance, especially between characters. So, like, I can't just offhandedly assume that hey, everything is going to be balanced out at the end of the day. Or, I don't know, when I, when I say balanced, I'm using it loosely because obviously the game is not perfectly balanced. All right, I said I needed some Hey, thanks for the follow, Cody. I need some more wood. I, I'm gonna use log suits here. <laughs> I never prototyped a shovel. How is that possible? How did I get to day 762 without prototyping a shovel? Uh, oh, here's one. Let me just use this one. 40% might be enough. Oh, there's another one here.
in the right part you can see, oh, in the right you can see part of my other farm. Do people even use catapults? Tooth traps are better. Uh, for hounds, I like the tooth, uh, the catapult so far. Who was it that suggested to me? Was it, um, uh, wait, who, who's in the game with me? Was it Bamboo who suggested it? To use the niter? Because that makes a lot of sense. It really does reduce the resource cost for using catapults to defeat a hound wave. As opposed to, like, stacking gems in it. So, with that, I mean, I, I've never been a fan of the tooth traps for hounds. Uh, in general, when I did set up something, I would set up, well, what is it called? Okay, I gotta intervene here. I would set up just uh, stone statues, stone statues, what are they, what are they called? I'm trying to remember here. Um, yeah, like marble statues and stuff, because hounds get stuck on them and they can't destroy them so like if you're looking for something that's really low maintenance that is pretty low maintenance it might be it might be pretty cheesy especially compared to tooth traps it, it definitely is uh, fossils can do it as well because they behave in a similar way but you usually have easier access to things like carved bubble pipes and whatnot than you do to fossils I think that's why people use statues more. Oh, I'll probably also have to fuel those flingos before I leave. Gem one is better, but not necessarily for hounds. Yeah, I built the gem ones down here. Uh. And the thing about for the lighting, I would like it if I could just have one generator at the base of the, the entrance, let's say, and then I could just fuel that up when I come down and have it connected to like multiple lights throughout my underground base, rather than needing to go to each and every individual light and then light it up. It, it makes it a little bit too inconvenient and also makes it really costly because every single light needs to have its own generator. And, um, Especially if you're only going to be down there for a limited amount of time, like, you, like throw one gem in it, you probably would be better sir, or like you'd get better value for your investment if you could just fuel like three or five lights off of one generator for ten minutes or something. All right, is there anything else I'm missing? Oh yeah, here. Get rid of the shovels, and probably that. You fight Bee Queen with catapults, definitely the gem one. I imagine, because that fight takes a bit longer than hounds would. I was usually pretty cool just fighting Bee Queen uh, solo, ironically enough. Uh, but I should try the gem the catapults just to see what it's like ones. Hmm. All right. That should be enough. Here, let's burn some of this disgusting deciduous turf. need to fuel these and then I think we can go and take care of antlion. Okay, that's off. There was a mod that I wanted to like make 
and it was going to be these boss signs that you could build with like a checklist so anybody who enters the world can just click on the sign and it automatically tells you what resources you should be bringing with you to that fight because I do need a reminder from time to time so it would benefit me as well I, the reason I mention it is because it's like this, a simple kind of baby's first mod that you could do. I've never actually created one of my own mods, which is, might seem a little bit ironic since I've like used a lot of mods myself. But I, I've got ideas, it's just finding the time to implement them. Uh, and also finding something that you can do, right? You don't want, you don't want to bite off more then you're capable of handling and then become discouraged and never try it again. Don't need that. Don't need that. Need that. Uh, okay, just the two thermal stones now. There. Oh wait, do I have uh, endo? Yeah, I've got endo prefab. Nice. Should be good to go. Uh, let's see here. Just got the walrus tooth. Two days left of winter. I know. Sometimes it's pretty terrible. Like this world. There's only one uh, Mac Tusk on it. So I think uh, there was like one drop during the first winter. And of course I grabbed that. So everybody else who was playing at the time didn't get uh, a walking cane. Which is why there's that mod that forces there to be like three Mac Tusks to spawn on every world. And I really should consider that to be like one of my essential mods to enable for the server side because uh, most of these servers I, I set them up and I let other people join to play and it just makes sense to have like three Mac Tusks so that way everybody can, they got a fair shot at getting the walking cane. Uh, because it is really quite the essential, I don't know tool is it really a tool it's in the fashion tab isn't it or the dress tab so probably not a tool oh i'm not gonna get there in time am i i'll get there in time for tomorrow morning let's see uh, ant lion's over there by that trap Farming dragonfly scales, yeah. Dragonfly is probably one of the more useful ones, isn't she? In terms of the loot drops. Well, I didn't bring any health uh, foods with me besides honey, so let's try to avoid taking damage here. Holy crap. That could be bad. I mean, it's simple, just don't get hit, right? <sighs> what are the odds I'll be able to pull this off? Usually I like to have like a couple of pierogies as backup, but I don't have any this time. And my uh, sanity's... Oh, is my sanity going to be a problem here? We've got uh, a cactus. I probably should just grab like a couple of these. Do I have a... Uh... Yeah, I've got a campfire. Yeah, I should have fixed the sanity earlier, but hey, I didn't. So what are you going to do about it? Uh, but yeah, the last thing I want is to be attacked by shadow creatures when I'm trying to fight. So, what did they say? An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure? What is the non-American version of that? Because uh, not many countries... Outside the U.S. use Imperial units. So how can you have an ounce of prevention? You have like a, a kilogram of prevention? Hmm. 
All right, here we go. Wish me luck. No, I'm stuck. <laughs> that was almost a no hit there. Yeah, I also forgot I was using a Dark Sword to do this, so that would have been a problem as well uh, in terms of draining my sanity. Alright, Antline is dead. <sighs> Destroyed my end though, so that was too close apparently. <laughs> One bulb left. Can't see my mouse cursor because of all the sand. Yep, there we go. Easy peasy. <laughs> Down to 120 health. I really overbuilt with those log suits. Look at that. I need to stop doing that. I have this tendency to just want to go for the overkill because I I. I want I want to have backup options if things start going south. Hi, lucky frog. And is it Dell or bad? I need to change the font of my chat program. That E looks like an A with my vision anyway. Yep. It would have been nice to get like a no hit kill there. Then I could uh, reasonably do it with Maxwell, couldn't I? I don't know, sometimes you're just in the flow of it and you don't get hit, and other times you just keep messing up. Take hit after hit. Because I remember last year, we'd get some people in this server. And uh, we had, I think it was PSI who was playing Maxwell. He'd run over there to kill Antline, get killed, come back, try it again, get killed again. And, you know, he wasn't a new player. He was probably had like 1,000 hours in the game. Just wasn't as used to playing Maxwell. Alright, did you burn the base down while I was gone? Still standing. Oh. I really don't need all this papyrus. Or this wax paper, so let's get rid of some of that. And then armor as well. It's good to have one log suit, but this is far too much. Alright, what next? an egg there. Mm. 
Maybe pigs are... I could plant a spider egg in the bunny pen. Or should I get I should get carrots and try to increase our. Wait, I, I would have to go down below to do that. I wouldn't have to, but I mean I should because there were bunnies down there. Yeah, because I would like to finish building out both the pigs and the bunnies here in this base. Oh, there's a carrot. Hey, World Gen is helping me after all. Or world regrowth, I should say, not world gem. Although, I guess since the bunnies are out right now, I should just briefly do this. Okay, I'm not gonna get killed here. Betray. The fist is actually really good because you don't make the mistake of uh, hitting because it takes longer to hit with the fist and you don't have the same range. It's like, you, you know, you want to kind of avoid hitting the bunnies because then they all go after you instead. And you can do that by using your fi fist instead of um, a weapon, at least from what I've seen. Tends to be what I do. Right, did I tell it? I, I didn't. Hmm. No! It's not supposed to take a hit. Open the gates, silly. I'm not a ghost after all. Can't just float past them. How many rabbit houses should I use to kill bee queen? <laughs> Too many. I, I gave up on that whole strategy. Because honestly, it's just easier to solo her than building that ridiculous number of rabbit houses. I've tried it. Um, it's just annoying to try to get it to work for me at least. It, I, I should like examine it more because I would like to know how it's done properly. But the amount of effort I had to put in to set that up, to have it work very poorly, is just like I don't... I can't justify it. Oh wait, I need to grab my other bunny puffs actually. No wait, do I need to? Yeah, I've got time. Because it'd be good to know how many I actually have. Because that's usually the limiting factor here when it comes to building more house hutches. Unfortunately, I don't have a chest dedicated to puffs. Oh, there's seven. So I've, I've enough for two hutches now. But I'm pretty sure I had more than just that. And you know, one of the best re or one of the main reasons that I like bunnies over pigs is they have a much quicker respawn rate. Okay, these logs are all over the place because I, I know I saw more logs. Where were they? Somebody put living logs somewhere else there. Oh, okay, I did that, I think. Apparently they're down here now. Yeah, we need some more signs as well. Maybe all the bunny puffs were down below. That would actually make sense because that's where the farm is at the moment. Or the bigger farm. Oh, the boards. The boards. I need boards. Do I need boards? I can come back up and get them since I'm going to be building the hutches up here anyway.
Need to build walls around the bunny hutches and give every one of them a bee hat. Yeah. Not, not happening. <laughs> I tried the fence maze strat for Bee Queen, but they just fly over the fences and gates. You have to leave a path for them. If you just completely close it off, then they'll fly over. So like, the idea behind exploiting the pathfinding for the fences is that there is a way around that doesn't involve flying over the wall. So for example, you know we have this. If you don't like, if you don't understand how it works, I'll explain it here. Uh, like we have this little area right now. If I close this gate, and then I stood over here, uh, the bees would like. So let's say the bees are up here where they currently are. They would fly all the way around this wall to get into the gate that's open down here. But if I close this gate, now all of a sudden they'll just fly over the wall because there's no other way in. So that's kind of how the pathfinding glitch works on bees. I've seen other people use it successfully as well. The strat that I usually use involves just running back and forth on the path. You know, you get enough speed and you don't have to, you just kind of outrun the bees. You get like six attacks and then you run to the other side with the grumble bees. That's how I usually do it solo. And you can do it with pretty much any character. You just need a ton of uh, healing, which is the biggest downside. It does, it needs like 40 pierogies to pull it off and probably 10 beekeeper hats. It's like, it does need a lot, and if you're going for like long term with the bunny houses, it would be easier. But, the number of times I need to kill, okay, I need to fix my sanity here first. The number of times I usually kill Bee Queen is, um, like, you, you get, you get a couple of uh, hive hats, you get the blueprint for the bundling wrap, and then why else, I, I guess, jelly beans you could kill her for, but, I don't know, I, I just don't use jelly beans much. You left the path, but they just went the shorter path, which would be flying over the thing. Maybe they changed it. I kind of doubt that Clay would have changed it, but it, it's possible, I guess. I haven't tried it in a long time. I, I would say probably about a year now. Because I remember the last time it happened, um, we had like a Wolfgang on the server, and he was the one who went ahead and built it. The setup. It was based off of a design by Joe Schmo Cool Stuff. Which I think is the one that most people use. Okay, I'm just looking for bunny puffs here. If I miss them, yell at me. There we go. Three of them. Oh, there's a chess piece. You can get that give that to the pig king. There probably wasn't the pawn though, was it? Is there a brook? Eh. My favorite is the pawn. Oh, there we go, 32 bunny puffs. The reason the pawn is so great is because it's just such a nice, simple barrier. If you're not interested in actually like the diversity or the look of the chess pieces, the pawn gives you that perfect look. It's just nice and simple. And it's, uh, it's unassuming, it's just all that good stuff. All right, I'm ready for some chaos. Like I said, keep things out of your hand and let the games begin. I'm telling him to kill my pet while I'm at it. Stop eating those carrots, you brats. My carrots. Oh! Did they, they gonna be mad at me? I thought I might have hit him that time. Didn't pull out quite quickly enough. It's always the danger. Like I tell you, bunnies can be really volatile. You gotta be careful with them. It's very easy to accidentally get killed. Like in my case, I've got 5% left on my Lazy Explorer. But like, if you don't have an easy way out, you can get trapped quite easily and murdered in a corner. 
if, even if you just accidentally pick up meat. <clears throat> I have a mod that prevents me from picking up the meat. I was wondering how I'm so skilled at it. Did they run out? I think they left. Yeah. Oh well. Close enough. Any rot? <clears throat> no, it seems to be fine. My uh, pet Snurtle here for converting useless minerals into slime. It took me half of the night to, no, probably not that long. Probably took me about 30 minutes to get it up here though. Cause I brought it from <clears throat> one of its mounds, what is it, way down here. I'm gonna chase it all the way up here. And I went for the non-aggressive one cause I don't want to get attacked by it. Did try out Winona's catapults and boy, it was good. Didn't have to do a single swing on it. Huh. I imagine you like locked them in where B Queen couldn't attack them, right? I mean, that's the thing, right? If because walls and don't starve together don't perform the function intended, and instead, well, maybe I shouldn't say that. Like, who's to say what function they were supposed to be used for? But like, instead, we get this really weird stuff that behaves better than a wall ever should have. Like fossils, for example, or the the sculptures. What, I mean, is it called a sculpture? It's a carving. But otherwise, the catapults would be a lot more even keeled. Right, rabbit hutch. That made me a little hungry. So, at least four more here. This is a song that I was originally going to use as like the um, like the channel theme on YouTube. I was just going to use the part where he sings upside down. So whenever I hear the song now, I just think about that little clip of it. It, it just it stands out like its own distinct thing to me. Right there, that. Okay, it might actually be time to go and get Maxwell. 46 gold nuggets. You're down in the caves or you trade some stuff in at the pig king? It might actually be too late. I might have let the trees overgrow at this point. Oh, no, they still are not big enough. Hmm. I guess now would be a good time to switch over to Maxwell, though. I just made a bunny farm with a cave entrance and three spider... and a spider three bunnies destroyed both. Hey, good night, Beller. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, I need the idol. I need to present tribute.
So let's see your moon rock. And is it purple gem? I don't have any. How do you change between characters? So you need to first upgrade the um, Florid Postern to the Celestial Portal. And uh, you do that through a project. Uh, first you have to find, did you see that? There's a special crafting station you have to find. Uh, you get it in the biome that has meteors in it. And once you find that portable crafting station, then you can craft stuff like the portal paraphernalia, which allows you to create a construction project, I believe it's called, that allows you to upgrade the florid postern into the celestial portal. And once the upgrade has been completed, uh, thanks to the follow forks, I guess. <laughs> uh, once the celestial portal has been upgraded, you can offer a little totem, this thing, and it will despawn you and allow you to choose another character. You maintain all of your map progress as well as the list of recipes that you have unlocked, so you don't lose anything there. Like the one main loss is going to be if you're playing as WX, you do lose your upgrades. I think that's really the only loss that you incur for that uh, for that swap. So here we go. Good thing I've got all my affairs in order. All right, so we're. Switching over to Maxwell. What's my pleasure here? The new Forge stuff. Oh, this, uh, Thermal stone is supposed to stay over here. Now I have to be really careful. I went from WX, fully upgraded, which was like 400 health, to Winona, which was like 150, and now I'm down to 75. And the thing is, see, it's not necessarily that uh, it's impossible for me to avoid damage with a low health character. It's that you're used to having this huge tank of damage and you can play a lot more fast and loose with those other characters. And then when you switch over to Maxwell and you're just not used to how little health you have in reserve. So you do things like you're out there and you take a hit without armor and you're one shot and killed. I can always chop this down in the meantime, while I'll wait for the trees down below to grow. They should almost be grown at this point. Oh. Okay, we need to refuel some of these flingos here as well. Here, let's waste a log cooking uh, seeds. Two seeds. That's such a good investment on my part, isn't it? <sighs> no idea why I insisted on doing that. All right, where did I? Oh, right, it was in here. I saw some turf in there. Maxwell is good with shadow armor and sword. Yeah, I mean, in single in single player, you can really pull that off because you never have to worry about. Uh, sanity. Well, I mean, you would because it would drain slowly, but <laughs> multiplayer, you really can't wear shadow armor 24 7. And that's the thing. That's the main thing is just remembering to equip the armor sometimes. Because right now I'm using Ibrella and Krampusak. Like, these are both functional and useful to me. There's really no reason for me to wear armor 24-7 unless I absolutely need it. 
Okay, the book is over there. Do I have... I need more implements here. It's gonna make uh, a couple shadow followers. So luxury axe. Regular shovel. Okay, I don't think we have any more flint tools there. I want to pick these up right away because otherwise there's a high likelihood this whole thing is going to start on fire. Here's the interesting thing. Shadow creatures apparently have hitboxes. Right, you can push them around even though they're shadows, but things like shadow creatures can you can just walk right through them. I mean, is it a shadow or isn't it a shadow? <laughs> Any quitting for the night, dear bamboo? Oh, maybe just got disconnected. What have you been working on? Just still cleaning stuff up? Oh, yeah. Sudden connection loss. Oh, <laughs> there's a tree on fire. At some point I should revisit like one of my original Don't Starve single player worlds. I still have it saved. It was like from I think very early 2014. Mined some rocks and killed some spider queens. Ooh. Use traps or do you do it mano a mano? Just you against the world. I usually like to have a couple of traps just to help even the odds on my side. It makes it a lot easier. You don't take as much damage either. What the hell? Didn't I just cut this thing down? <laughs> what? Wait. Okay, there was one over there. That's where it was, wasn't it? Yeah. I thought I'd been chopping this one down the whole time. There's the other one. There are two such forests. My 
snoozing scrappy broodling. Puccino. There's just something about Al Pacino's expression that it makes him stand out from a crowd. Like, it's not so much his actual face, it's just like how he contorts it. <laughs> like, this was something that I noticed when I was like, what, 14? My word, what else is there to talk about when you're cutting trees? I mean, that's the whole problem. With resource management and don't starve. Do you think we'll get something like a sawmill? Some character needs a sawmill. Woody. Woody should have a sawmill. And they revamp his character. We need a Woody sawmill. I mean, it just makes sense. He could like, make processed wooden pellets, which... Help him maintain his beaver, or his not wear a beaver form. Okay, thanks for uh, playing, Bamboo. True God Emperor. Let's see you after God for about a week, but you gotta go. Here and then gone so quickly. I, wait. Yeah, I wasn't aware you were uh, watching. I don't I think it's the first time you spoke since I've been back. Yes, it is nice to be back. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to maintain quite the same schedule that I did last year, because I, at this point I have been streaming Don't Starve for a bit over a year. But it will, like, maybe four times a week. Four days a week, I should say. Hope to have a schedule about like that. <clears throat> it means I won't fall uh, too far away from the progress the game is making. All right, do... What are the... What's the likelihood the other trees are done growing? And... You don't need quite all this stuff. No tree guards yet. Now oh, there's a spider. I wonder if that was one of the ones Bamboo killed. And what is this pig doing all the way over here? Moon pie. Yep. Oh, okay. That uh, maybe they're not grown after all. 
any of them grown? I think some of them are here. The ones that I planted first probably are starting to, yeah. So by the time I finish this, they might all be grown. The ethereal stuck on the corporal. It's not right, I tell you. And then after this, I want to build more cobblestone. I'll have the wood for it. Maybe we can finish the roads around the base. Up top. See you, Rock. Oh, I actually need to find more music. Here we go. Rocket League soundtrack. It's funny how these songs can, like, remind you of past streams. Man, some of them are, like, bad for that reason. Okay. Ah, oh, for love of Pete. sword there. One percent left. That's cutting it close. Cries to the heavens for food. That's a tree guard. Come back here, you cur. Down to 44 uh, sanity there. Cutting things a bit close, huh? Maybe I should have brought the uh, high fat with me.
I've never understood the people who will walk away from stream and not mute their microphone. I mean, it's just kind of like <laughs> expecting bad things to happen and that others are going to capitalize on it. Like, why would you do that? Package. Get my package back. It's going to be the last thing I pick up. It isn't. God, son of a... Of course it was. Okay, here is something that you shouldn't do when you're streaming. Or this is something you should do when you're streaming. Turn off Windows sounds. If I start hearing plings and bings of like Windows errors, it makes me lose respect for that person as a streamer. It's like, do you really need those sounds on? Because the answer is you don't. You can turn that off and sound a lot more professional. I mean, imagine if you're listening to the radio and all of a sudden you're hearing Windows plings. That's not professional. Or Windows operating system chimes. It's more of a chime than anything else, is it not? It's another point about like people who complain about... Uh, let's say... The taming of a frontier. Did you not expect it to become more tame? More regulated? Is it necessarily a bad thing? I suppose in the future, uh, in order to enable monetization for YouTube, it required that you have subtitles, kind of like they do on TV, closed captions at the very least. Would that really be a bad thing? Because there are a lot of people out there who would really benefit from because of uh, like hearing impairments and whatnot, they benefit from decent subtitles on videos. I know they, there's like kind of a thing where it tries to automatically do it, but videos with um, like all kinds of different people talking are gonna screw that dialogue up. Uh, and it just surprised me, you know, because like somebody as big as Linus Tech Tips does not pay for subtitles on his videos. I'm surprised. Like you would think it would be a common sense investment in like the future if he decides to move to another platform, like they're. It just, it's its common in the television industry to provide at least closed captions. So you would think that he'd be willing to, I guess he can always make that investment later if he needs to, right? Just pay somebody like, what is it, Upwork? What's that? There's some uh, site that allows you to like buy subtitles for your videos. It just surprised me that he didn't, he didn't provide them. Because uh, I'm pretty sure you can afford it. Like, it only costs a couple bucks per minute, and he has all these edited videos. It's not like he's creating live streams where it literally costs thousands to subtitle him. But yeah, just thinking about, like, improving for the future and stuff. Are we gonna... Are we gonna say no to that? Is that a bad thing? To, like, improve the quality? They, they're moving up to 8K. Okay. I'm gonna have a beef with that. If you can up upload an 8K video, but you can't add subtitles to it, something's going on. Does he even upload? Okay, he might not upload in 8K. He uploads in at least 4K. I think he can afford subtitles. Maybe he doesn't know. Or big streamers that don't buy Windows? I mean, if you're playing games, you're probably going to be using Windows. It's just the best platform still to play PC games on. And especially when it comes to cost, it's, you definitely get the most bang for your buck. I know there are a lot of people who edit on Macs, but I don't know if there are a lot of people who stream on Macs. I guess Linux would be closer contender than Mac if it came to streaming. A lot of games support Linux, at least. Games on Steam that are being released on Steam now. Which is uh, pretty nice. It's nice to have that option. I, I've i got uh, Ubuntu on a laptop. I have 
a free NAS server that's based on free BSD. So I actually like the Linux ecosystem better in terms of just how easy it is to do stuff. Something like settings, Windows will torture you. Windows will turn you over a spit trying to find the right settings for some random thing because there are like 20,000 different locations you could possibly look for a setting. You got your control panel, you got your settings panel, you got your registry edits. It's just a nightmare when it comes to like changing specific things. I mean, think about something as simple as sharing files it just does not make any sense in Windows. You've got like old legacy aspects to Windows file sharing, stuff like home groups. So I think Windows 7 introduced home groups, which was like, in my opinion, just stupid because once again, it's abstracting something that did not need to be abstracted. It's a bit like having libraries in Windows, which are just essentially shortcuts and links to like linked for folders. But anyway, so they create home groups and then they kill off home groups in what, like, Windows 8 Service Pack 2 or something or Windows 10. There's like one of them. So they kill off home groups and now when you look up information online about how to share folders in Windows 7, you're constantly having to deal with this outdated information that regards home groups, which was just an utterly atrocious idea and didn't make any sense even when it was implemented, in my opinion, because it was supposed to be the sort of, uh, it was supposed to like put a friendly face on sharing folders for the home. And honestly, just, just learn how to do it properly. It makes things simpler in the long run if you learn the underlying and protocols and stuff that make file sharing work like SIFs and SMB and stuff like that. <clears throat> uh, have the watermark? Wait. They, when you say you don't buy Windows, you mean they actually just use it unregistered? Why would you do that? No, come on. You, you can get like a scummy key off of eBay for eight bucks. That's how I got Windows 10 Pro. I just bought it off of eBay for 10 bucks. Like. You can afford 10 bucks if you're streaming professionally. Come on. I'm not buying that. Really? They're not buying, they can't buy Windows 10? The reason I like Windows 10 Pro is because I can actually remote into it using my tablet. It's got a remote desktop connection just kind of built into it. It's one of the things that Windows does well, actually, in this regard. You don't have to like install TeamViewer or anything like that. Uh, just install the but you do need Windows Pro, but just, just install the remote desktop app and away you go. It's pretty seamless. And uh, the touch functionality, like one thing you have to, kudos you gotta give Windows for that is it's actually pretty decent now. The touch, touch functionality in Windows 7, I mean Windows 10, as opposed to like Windows 7. I'm not unhappy with it at all. Uh, it makes sense though, you know, you got the Surface Pros out there. Uh, another nice thing about Windows 10 Pro is it allows you to set up uh, virtual machines using Hyper-V, which is like the hypervisor from Microsoft. I've done a little bit with that. The funny thing is you can't <laughs> you can't install a virtual machine, a vir virtual Windows machine in Hyper-V unless you actually own the key. So you got to go and buy another copy of Windows. Then again, if you're only paying 10 bucks a copy, it doesn't really matter that much. I've no idea where the people on eBay get them for 10 bucks a copy. Like it's obviously fishy. It's probably not supposed to happen, but it works. So, you know, what? you can't look a gift horse in the mouth. And also you can't transfer it between machines. So it's one of those licenses. It's a system builder license type thing. So if you move to another machine, you're going to have to buy another starving to death. Um, you're gonna have to buy another key. Unlike if you like buy the thing you're supposed to buy. If you actually pay 150 to like $200 for Windows 10 Pro, which is um, dubious. <laughs> I think that's too much, but that's for you to decide. I'm gonna get a backpack here, I think. Load up some more of these logs. <sighs> Had Ubuntu moved to Mint? The uh, main reason I stuck with Ubuntu is just because it's so widely supported. In terms of like, that's what everybody kind of uses. So if you're looking for information on it, you're not going to find some peculiar quirk of 
another flavor or another distro. Not that there's a lot of whole, not that there's a whole lot of difference between different uh, distros. Like it's mostly just the desktop environment a lot of the time, and like maybe one or two other things. Because the kernel is obviously the same for the most part. Imagine there are exceptions I'm not aware of. Is that everything? Well, this field didn't do much for me. <laughs> if you can, what's the point in seeing the entire world if it's covered in darkness? Ah, uh, yeah. Need to manually click on that to pick it up. And I think we've got enough to go here. Uh, here, you. Oops. Scrappy Broodling, you eat this. Drop the sword. Then we're gonna go up and make more cobblestone. Oh, actually I need to transport these backpacks back, I guess. Somebody sent me a message on Steam. What is it? Mm -mm -mm. Still summer, last day. Last day of the summer. Yep. Wrong is Skirda. So here is the problem, getting a bit more philosophical about this. The um, like recent communications technologies have made just regular communication more of a zero-sum game. What do you think of that? Basically there's less of a reason to talk to people who aren't the, at the absolute pinnacle of what it is that they do like obviously there's always been a barrier to that but like with the f with the fact that you can just contact somebody sort of in real time on the other side of the world has like eliminated a lot of the cost to like the the higher end of that it's like obviously you're not going to get the best of the best in the field but it still limits or it removes some of those limitations that you and, and it also gives you less of a reason to just talk to people who are more mediocre, more average, you know. I mean, it's it's to be expected. Average is defined by being the majority, isn't it? All right, you need to go, and you, and you. Because you see it in everything, it's like a snowball effect. Apple recently released a credit card that doesn't have numbers on it. Get hyped for that. I wonder how long before everybody else follows what they're doing, like every other bank follows what they're doing, and we have um, no numbers on credit cards in five years. I mean, goodness knows, resisting the removal of the 3.5 millimeter audio jack didn't prevent that from becoming an industry-wide trend. Even Samsung jumped on board with that. Because to be honest, it is the right direction. 
I don't know why people are so committed to this legacy port. Like, it, it's a holdover from a long, long time ago. Before computers were even a thing. Surely we can come up with a better solution to it. Doesn't necessarily mean dongles, but the point is the... The connector needs to be phased out. Kind of like USB. Uh, it's just time to move over to USB-C. Stop playing around with all these legacy formats. Like USB 3.1... Uh, Okay, so USB is an absolute nightmare. It does not make any sense at all. So you start with like USB 2, you move on to the USB 3.0. Uh, apparently they changed something and decided to change the name of USB 3.0 to USB 3.1 Gen 1. After USB 3.1 Gen 1 has been around for a while, we come out with USB 3.1 Gen 2. Gen 2 is like faster than Gen 1 in what way I forget exactly, because it would have made much more sense just to call it by how much speed it actually had, but they didn't do that. Think about like gigabit ethernet, you think of it as gigabit. You don't think of it like fast ethernet. Fast ethernet was an, another troubling name because it doesn't really tell you how fast it is. Right, if, if I say my ethernet is fast, does it, like, how fast do you think it is? It's the fastest, right? Well, no, it's actually 100 megabits a second. Well, that's misleading, isn't it? Why not just call it 100 megabit per second Ethernet or something? Well, because it's not, it's not good marketing, I guess. Still, USB has fallen into the same trap, and that's why the naming convention is an absolute and utter mess at this point. So now we have like 3. Point, what is it? 3.2 Gen 1. <laughs> it has gotten bad, I tell you in terms of just the industry jargon associated with it. And then you've got like the new Wi-Fi. So, I mean, think about it from the aspect of somebody who doesn't like have to deal with it on daily day to day to day basis. Are you going to know the difference between uh, Wi-Fi, like BGN, AC, and then AX? So now we're just going to have Wi-Fi 5, but it's actually Wi-Fi AX. So it's a bit like calling it a hive hat when it's really a bee cream. Queen Crown. Hey, I mean, it's much more interesting than narrating exactly what's going on the screen here because, believe me, it's not much. Where's my torch? And now I shall go and build a torch, guys. Guys, should we light this backpack, guys? Hounds, guys, what should we do? I shouldn't. Okay, neither. Oh my god, I'm running out of time here. Quickly. This could be a problem given the distance here. The hounds grow restless. <gasps> I made it in time. I'm just a Maxwell though, and life is a nightmare. I, I'm just a Maxwell. I know that it's not fair. Yeah. Whoa. Seems to work to me. Where did I drop the Krampus sack? Was it over here? Yeah. Ah, and I still wanted to build that cobblestone. Is it, I think it's probably time to switch back over to Winona if I'm gonna craft stuff. I've got enough wood to last for a while. And we've got a barrier to look forward to here.
All right, I'm going to need the totem. Let's see here. Put the moonstones over here. And we need gems. I don't think I got a single gem from that most recent attack. So back to Winona here. Right, okay. Burning pine cones, because I've got too many. Oh, wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. We can do one better. Ah, uh huh. Use them for something productive. Mm hmm. I see you over there. Crying your heart out. Best part about action queue, look at this. I don't have to worry about other players walking in front of me and me clicking on them, or my broodling performing an animation that tends to get in my way. All right? Just works, just works. That's what's nice about it. Ooh, full moon. Time to go kill some piggies, I think. Now would be the ideal time to do so. Oh wait, maybe it wouldn't be. Actually, there might be like a ton of them over there and they'll probably all mob me and kill me. See if I can just, oh, no, actually they're chasing it. Okay, cool. Yeehaw. Is that really all? The snoozing qualifant. Dreaming qualifant dreams. Oh, right, there's one. There's a dirty, no good backstabber. Are we playing this game? I've been streaming for two hours and 43 minutes. Wow. Wait, who died? Sneaking up on me? Nah, I'm not dying. Alone Tiger Shark. Thanks for the follow. So, the current object. Oh, yeah, okay. The current objective. What happened to the rest of the pigs? I guess they got killed somehow. Other because their houses are no longer over there, so they didn't go in their houses for night. I wanted to swap the moon rock idol for um, Winona. So, it's the current objective here. And then I'll work on crafting the rocky turfy thing. What is it called? Cobblestone. Was it sneaking up on me or was I sneaking up on it? We'll never know. See, I put up these signs to help noobs get to base. <laughs> Junk food, thanks for the follow. These are the new signposts from the Winona chest. I forget exactly what it was called, but it came with the fence pieces as well. So I've got classic and I've got pipe fencing. Sadly, I don't use much fencing. I think I've got some stuff I could replace though. All right, time to despawn here. An offering to the gods. All right, Bandito, Winona. What do we got here? Hazmat Fallout suit. Mm -mm. Okay, there are no leg leggings that go with that one. <laughs> 
You'll save this for others who need it more. See, the other thing is these signs actually help me because I don't have to remember which road to take or look at the map. So it's a mutually beneficial addition for all parties involved. subscribe to your YouTube channel. Oh, thanks. I hope to upload some more stuff soon. Got a couple of things planned in the works, as it were. Uh, one of them has to do with the, my sort of going over my client mods and why I use the current ones that I do in 2019. I did one for 2018. I want to kind of update it because things have happened in a year. Uh, where we? Okay, the turf, I think, is in one of the other chests. And then I also want to do a mod like comparing the difficulties of winter versus summer. I think it would be helpful for newer players, especially the ones who still think that winter is easier than summer. Because you're just wrong, I guess. <laughs> at least 30. 31 let's go for here. 31 boards. Mm. Even in real life winter is better than summer. What? Nah. Really? You'd rather be stuck in a snowstorm? Then a heat wave. I guess here is the litmus test. How far north are you? If you're not, if you're not like Canada north, you probably haven't been able to truly experience what winter can actually throw at you and the inconvenience you can be hit with. And it's just hard on everything. But you know, you look at vehicles that have to be out there, vehicles or equipment out in the winter, it's just harder on it. And you've got vehicles out on roads with salt on it. Oh, okay, so... <laughs> That's actually supposed to be marble turf there. Um, where's my fork? Did I leave it over here? Yeah. I wonder if my marble has matured yet. If that is the case, I should have uh, mined it with Maxwell before swapping back to Anona here. Oh, now, pig. This is quite inappropriate. Don't hump my stuff. Oh my god, he's still humping that thing. Get off of there. <laughs> Here. The uncivilized swine. Leave it alone. It's not consensual. Okay, where else do I need to put roads? <laughs> Here I was thinking I needed so much more cobblestone and I might not actually need that much more. I think I've kind of like built everything out here. <sighs> Am I missing any? Roads here are built. Um, 
Yeah, so drops apply when you and the streamer have both linked your accounts to or your Twitch accounts to your Clay accounts. Okay, yeah, I think I've got all the roads in place, so I can use the rest of these cobblestones for something else. The obvious direction... Oh, yeah, they're ready to be harvested. The obvious direction would be to run the road this way, I think. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to dig up a couple of tiles here, I think, to make it look right. Yeah. And then I'll run it in this direction. All right, I think the last order of business today is gonna to be to get more marble. And finish the design here. <laughs> Pickaxe. Are drops enabled? Yes, they are. As a matter of fact, the current drop on offer is the uh, circus-themed Ice fling matic which is the first reskin of the Ice fling matic that we've had. Okay, this is actually going to be faster. Is this drop time a thing now? Because the default drop time is like, what, 30 minutes? An hour, wait, 30 minutes, two hours, and six hours? It's something like that. Forget exactly. See, this mines as fast as I could mine if I was actually spam clicking to mine faster. How do you check how much time you've watched? Ah, is there such a command for Twitch? I know there's a general uptime, but I don't know what the individual like how I would set something up for each individual user. Probably something in Streamlabs I'll do it. Need to poke around a bit more there. I've been kind of disappointed in the fact that Streamlabs is just kind of really f trying to force their users to adopt slobs instead of OBS. Because I, I would just want to use regular OBS, not slobs. And it seems like some functionality that used to be in just the base uh, web version of OB, um, Streamlabs is now exclusive to slobs. There's nothing in particular I have against slobs, it's just OBS is the upstream, so. It's kind of like the vanilla experience, the unskinned Android. All right, 11 marble beans. I'll see how many, uh, how many marble tiles do I actually need? Let's count these here. Oh, I, I can probably craft all these. I'll probably use all 29. So... Food? Here. Don't cry. Yeah, if you know how to enable a command that allows individual users to see their own watch time, go ahead and let me know and I'll try to implement it. At the moment, I'm not aware of any such functionality, but it wouldn't surprise me if it exists.
It's most of it covered here. I'm just not sure what to do with this corner of the base. Because I run into this, uh, I mean, it's a perfect cross, actually. When you look at it on the map, it's a sign from above. And that door needs to be repaired as well. Or the gate. I call these doors, but they're actually gates. There. Oh! We also need gates over here. Okay. Do I hear Berger? Better not be Berger. All right. I think that's looking pretty good for today. Let's see here. Need to find somebody else to host. Um, still, I've just recently moved over to this version of Windows, so. Uh, I'm a bit slow here. Need to remember where all my stuff is. Mm -hmm. Boris the Cheese is streaming Don't Style. Let's host him. How come your Ice Fling Maddox aren't circus skin? Because I just came back after a two week hiatus and I have to earn it. You can earn it through streaming, so I'll get it pretty soon. Uh, let's see here. Do -do -do. And also, you have to tear them down and then rebuild them to change the skin. So most of the flingles that I've built on this world wouldn't be unless I tore them down because this world is kind of old. Uh, all right. Here we go. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Thanks for the follows, and uh, have a good night. Unknown command. Oh, did I not do that right? Yeah, okay. We have, I meant to do hosts. Sorry. Hosts. There we go. Here we go. Gimme, gimme, gimme.